हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज कुलदीप फेयर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वेब ड्राइवर मैनेजर इन सिलेन वेब ड्राइवर एज द पार्ट ऑफ टुडे सेशन वी विल लर्न लाइक व्हाट इज द वेब ड्राइवर मैनेजर एंड व्हाई वी शुड यूज इट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so guys as we all know that to work with any browser we need to set the path for respective browsers driver.exe file okay consider that we want to work with the chrome browser then first we need to set the path of chrome driver.exe file with the help of system.set property so we need to write like system.set property web driver dot chrome dot driver and after that we need to provide the path of our chrome driver exe file okay and then we can initialize the chrome driver and continue with the our regular operations okay so with the same thing i have written here so basically here i have set the path of the chrome driver dot exe file and then created an instance of the chrome driver maximize the chrome driver and trying to launch the amazon.com inside the chrome browser okay so first let's execute this one and see is it working fine or not okay so here you can see like it has launched the chrome browser and open the amazon.com right now let's talk about the problem with this approach so say like if i make any mistake in the path location itself so let's modify this path a bit and see what happens okay so add let's would not run okay so here you can see like it is clearly giving us the exception like the driver executable does not exist so means this path is incorrect okay so that is the one problem let's move to the next one okay consider that i have shared all of my programs with you okay along with chrome driver exe file as well so but there is no guarantee that the same program will be working on your machine it is quite possible like you are using the different version of chrome so say like i am using the 98 here possible like you are using some older version of the chrome browser so in that case like the same program will not be working on your system okay apart from that like i am using the windows here and if in case you are using the mac or the linux then again the my program will not be working on your machine okay okay so the reason is like if we go on this selenium official website and go to this download section right here you can see that for the chrome driver exe okay so we can download the chrome driver exe in the various flavors so like we can download it for the linux for the mac as well as for the windows so in case like there is any difference in the operating system or the browser version so the same code which i will share with you will not be working due to the difference in chrome driver exe okay so this is the big problem with this approach okay so i hope like you got the point like why this program will not working on your system okay now let's try to find out how we can fix it or what is the solution for it okay so basically these problems can be fixed with the help of web driver manager okay i will open this url here okay so actually this is the guy uh, boni gracia so he has created this web driver manager and with the help of web driver manager we can overcome such kind of problems like setting the path of the drivers explicitly okay and here is the detailed documentation for the same till now what we are doing we were using the system dot set property to set the path of respective browsers exe okay so like they have trying to set for the chrome uh, for the firefox is okay okay so when we are going to use this web driver manager then in that case you don't need to set your path in this way okay so if we go with this definition so what it say like the web driver manager is open source java library that carries out the management that is the download setup and the maintenance of the driver required by the 
selenium wave driver example chrome driver gecko driver and the uh, i think this is for the s driver okay in fully automated manner okay so if we go with this web driver managers then we don't need to set the path in this way okay so let's see how we can get this web driver manager okay they have provided us the maven dependencies so we can download it from maven's official site okay so let's search for the maven web driver manager dependency so here you can see like okay so here we can get the detail of the dependency of the web driver manager so let's go with the, some stable version so let's go with this 5.0.3 okay and uh, so what we need to do basically we need to copy this dependency in our pom.xml file okay so guys in case you are not aware about the pom.xml file or the basics of the maven so you can refer my maven's introduction video and you can get that all the required details okay so guys we can use the jar files here but i will recommend that we should go ahead with this maven dependency so that's why i am using this my maven project here okay what i will do here i will go to this pom.xml file and uh, here in the dependencies section we just need to paste it out okay and after that we need to save it okay let me close this out okay so now all the required packages and files for this web driver manager has been available in my project okay now let's create a simple program now let's create one class as a web driver manager demo okay All right okay and say like i want to open the chrome driver here so we need to write in this way like web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay and after that you can write like web driver driver equals to new chrome driver and uh, simply import the correct package here and after that if we want to say like driver dot get and let's launch the google.com right let's close the driver okay so guys here you can see like i have not written any kind of like system dot set property which we were writing inside this code okay right we were writing the system dot set property which i don't need to write here okay and i have written simply web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay and let's execute this program so here you can see like it has launched the chrome browser and open the google.com inside it okay so this is the way you can use the web driver manager okay in the same way like if i want to work with the firefox then uh, i can write in this way like web driver manager dot firefox driver dot setup okay and instead of chrome driver we need to change it to the firefox so i will write here the fire fox driver okay so let's execute and see what happens here so you can see like it has launched the firefox browser and opened the google.com okay so this is the way you can basically utilize the web driver manager to get the exe for the different browsers and overcome with all of these problems okay and if you want to get the details of the uh, driver exe so you can go to this user section and uh, in the user section you can go to the cache so basically the chrome driver manager stores and downloads the file at this location okay and all of other options here you can write in this way like web driver manager and uh, 
if you want to work on any particular versions you have this option like browser version so if you want to work on any specific browser version then you can pass the browser number here so the respective exe will be downloaded and you can work on the same and along with that depending on the your os uh, version if it is a 64 bit or the 32 bit so you can download the exe for that as well okay okay guys so that's it for the today's session so i hope like uh, you got the idea about the web driver manager and how you can utilize in your projects okay thank you for watching thank you so much